Every so often an idea comes along that seems almost too good to be true. That was certainly the case about five years ago when we took you to a Winona assisted living community that welcomed some much, much younger residents. But not all has gone according to plan since then. We'll have more on that in a moment, but first Boyd Hooper reshares the story of the senior dorm. The Watkins Assisted Living Home has stood for years in contrast to Winona State University. Young and old. Separated by a few blocks and lots of decades. Till this fall when skateboards and backpacks Super surreal for me. began bridging the Geritol Gap. Whenever people ask, like, oh, where are you living off campus? And I'm like, oh, in a nursing home. And they're like, what? What? Welcome in. Indeed. This is home, yeah. Hannah Rotier, a senior nursing student, it's home lives next door to freshmen. Like, I could live here. Joel Olson. My heart wants something new. In space shared with four other students and 45 seniors. Decided just to just do it. Cheryl Craig is the assisted living director who came up with a plan. This is my bathroom. For the empty rooms in the century old Watkins mansion, long ago converted for senior living. Hey, at least I'm a senior. That's my joke. But senior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ashley McGaugh. Yeah, I bet. And the others <laughs> didn't move here. All right, I'll see you. To blend in with the woodwork. You have a verse that you really grab onto. That's Ashley with her Bible study partner, Alan Thompson. The New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. Across the parlor from Laura Jensen, yeah. a Winona State grad student okay. who hosts weekly crocheting through sessions. This, through this bottom one, yep. They they all mother me, they take care of me. Which is exactly what Cheryl yes. had in mind. Yes, I hear residents wondering how the students are doing with their studies. Are you eating enough? Are you getting enough fruits and vegetables? Helps us stay young, girl. Diane Sheldon <laughs> isn't the only resident embracing You're too kind. their new housemates. Even though I was never married, <laughs> They are like my little grandchildren. <laughs> there you go. There. Laura's crocheting, <laughs> Ashley's tech support, and manicures with Hannah. This Friday at 1, we'll be doing nails. 10 volunteer hours a month. It's usually where I do my homework. Get students a room in a mansion for $400. And all you have to do is go and spend time with some really nice people. Of course. <laughs> I have sausage here. 20 volunteer hours drops the rent to 200 bucks. How about two slices to start? Yep. yep. All meals included. Potato pancakes. Dining with residents encouraged. I'll skateboard in and they'll like wave through me out the window and it's just like those little things that make it feel like home. Do you see this outfit? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, my friend. It's refreshing. It's a breath of fresh air. All right. Just watching them laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and have banter back and forth. How was your Sunday with your family? It was really good. Our biggest hope of the program was that there would be that those connections. Who says generations have to be miles or even five blocks apart? Oh, there we go. When there's so much to gain, sharing a big roof oh, I'm and a little bit of each other. Honestly, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Boy Dupert, Care 11 News. Window. One of my favorite Boyd stories, but four months after that story first aired, of course, COVID threw the senior dorm for a loop. The students had to be separated from the seniors. They tried communicating on screens, but of course, you know, it just wasn't the same. So we are pleased to learn that senior dorm is now back together. This fall, eight Winona State students are sharing housing with the senior citizens at Watkins Manor. Manor. Student rents have gone up a little bit, so they're about 550 bucks a month, which does include meals with the seniors in their dining room. Students still agreed to spend time engaged in activities with their senior neighbors. And in case you're wondering, there is a wait list huh. to get in. 